Ouch! Yeah, that, uh, that hitting that ground right there like that is not a good thing. And I honestly really hadn't thought too much about it until you can see here. It's sitting on top of it, just kind of wedged in here a little bit. And I've got to get in there to... Um, I've got to get in there to kind of round that back out and see if I can get that to the point of uh, fitting back in there the way it should be. So, yeah, it's going it to be a little bit tricky. I've got to be able to get the, the trailer up. Right now I've got another trailer hooked up to the truck from Scouts. And let's get working on this. Alright, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. If the GoPro will focus on it, I assume it will here, but see right there all the metal where it's been hitting and actually, long story short, when the this actually had been rubbing on the ground in a previous good old times, and so you can see the little divots here. This hole here and here is where I re-drilled this. <laughs> it's actually really tempting to just cut this stupid thing off and re-drill it again, but there it is. Plan B. That's a good thing or not. But, uh. Yeah. So wet my fish. Yeah, mom's inside. Mom's inside. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Springs on there just right. Perfect. Alright. C clamp. Didn't work so great. Axe? There you go. That worked. I don't know if I'll throw this in the video or not. The little cover for the this axe has a little wimpy little thing on there. So it flew off in my face a couple times. I'm like, whoa! But there you go. Fix your trailer with an axe. If I had a big hammer or something, like a, a sledgehammer, obviously I would have used that, but right now I'd, I have no idea where my sledgehammer is, so that worked.